Hey y'all, I'm EJ, you are you, and welcome to my channel. Hello. Today, everyone, we're feeling the summer vibes, and we are going to the beach each. We're going to get away. We are starting our beaches on Quadratini today. It is the last leg of designing Quadratini. We just gotta get these beaches done and then do a quick zhuzh. We'll be done. So exciting. Oh my God, feels like we just started, right? Now everyone, this video is a little special because it is what? Our very first sponsored video. Very exciting, very exciting. So I wanna give a quick thank you to Disney Emoji Blitz for sponsoring today's video. Disney Emoji Blitz, if you do not know, it's a game, you download it for free. You can use the link down below on your mobile device or tablet to get this game. It is a match three game, kind of like Candy Crush, uh, but it's very unique in that each of the emojis, each of the little like things that you match, they have a fun little power up and that gives like a fun little strategy element to it. So you're not just, you're not just matching to match, you know what I'm saying? Now, my favorite emoji personally is the Sora emoji because I am what? A gamer. And also I love Kingdom Hearts. So, you know, it's just so fun. It's natural, right? Another fun thing about this game is that there's a lot of like collection to it because there's all these different characters. You get the Disney characters, the Disney, you get the Disney characters, you get the Pixar characters, you get the Star Wars characters. There's a bunch of different characters that in each week and there's different like variations of them like silver and gold like you like pokemon gotta catch them all guess what boom dizzy emoji blitz gotta catch them all there we go not trademark don't worry and to keep the fun going, I am holding a cute little giveaway for one person who downloads Disney Emoji Blitz using the link in the description and then also screenshots them reaching level 10 and sends it to me. In one month, I'll be picking a winner and that winner will receive a $10 Nintendo eShop gift card as well as an inventory full of crafting materials for all of your DIY needs. So anyways, I encourage you guys to download this game and let me know what you guys think. But with that said, we're gonna get into this video now because you know, we've been talking a lot and let's get into these beaches. All right, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Goodbye. All right, y'all, let's go to the beach each. Let's go get away. We are doing the beaches. You know it, you love them, I hate them. So our first beach is next to the bandit camp, our lovely bandit camp. Um, and it is gonna be like a trash beach. <laughs> I think this is the second time I've done an abandoned beach on this beach. So I, I don't know, I guess this beach just screams abandoned to me, who knows? Um, I will also say that these first two beaches were actually done on stream over on my Twitch account. Uh, you guys should go, uh, definitely go over there and you know, check me out, give me a follow, give me a like, come hang out, you know. Um, but yeah, no, we just did this on there. I usually don't do Animal Crossing on there, honestly, but I just decided to because I wanted to do some building. So here we go. This beach is basically just, I, bent, I grabbed a bunch of random stuff from my storage and just kind of threw it all around. Uh, we got some jail bars, we got some log stakes, got some wave breakers, got to break those waves, those notoriously giant waves in Animal Crossing um, in a single boot. How about that? <laughs> A Canadian noggin, or sorry, what is the Canadian? Degrassi? <laughs> okay, anyways. So I always hate doing beaches, honestly. Um, I just think that they are difficult because you can't terraform and you can't really put any other greenery except for like weeds, flowers, and coconut trees. And so I just like personally find it a little difficult to do it because it's all items, right? Um, but you can still put down custom designs on the beach. You can still put down custom designs on the rock. And, you know, we work through it. We work through it. Um, <laughs> hopefully you guys can get some ideas from this for your beach. Um, you know, if you ever don't know what to do with the beach, just make it abandoned, you know? I will say, I feel, I see some, uh, like some beaches on other people's like tour videos and things like that. And I'm just like, wow, these are so full and, and lush. And mine always just end up feeling, I don't know, kind of like, anemic I don't know. Like they feel very uh, skinty, you know, skinny legends. I'm also just kind of sick of these beaches because I think this is now the fourth time I've decorated this, redecorated this island. So it's the fourth time redecorating these beaches. Who knows why I didn't pick up these log stakes and move them? I, I don't know. I 
I guess I was here for the journey, not the destination, okay? But yeah, I just, you know, I'm kind of bored of these beaches and I'm ready for the new ones uh, whenever we restart this island, which should be soon because we're almost done with Quadratini. Also seaweed, we love seaweed. Go diving, get some seaweed, throw it on your beach. There you go. Design idea, hey, hey guys, I'm EJ. Here's some design tips for your beach. We seaweeds. Also, just normal weeds, put those there too. And flowers, pick up the flowers. I like using just the stems on my beaches. Um, I think they look kind of, it makes it look like kind of that like uh, itsy bitsy little um, sea grass that grows. Uh, so, you know, I just like doing that. I like putting those on my beach. And then of course, some stepping stones. I actually, this was when I started to like this beach was when I put down the stepping stones. And someone, you know, someone in my chat was coming for me and was like, do you really need 11 different stepping stones? And I said, uh -huh, yes, I do. So I don't know why we're catching this attitude. I do need 11. Cause like, look at all the variation you get out of these stepping stones anyways. All right, this is the next beach. This idea came from uh, one of my mods and also one of my EJ's bays. Become EJ bay, blah. Anastasia Crossing. This is an oasis. We're making an oasis because you know, I feel like there's not a lot of lush areas on this island. Um, you know, it's a, it's a desert island. So I was like, oh, well, what if one area, it's on the other side of the cliff. So maybe like this gets all the rain and it like stops, it doesn't go over that canyon. That makes sense, right? Weather, I don't know, I'm not a, listen, I'm not a magician. I'm not a mathemat, mathemat, uh, uh, what, uh, astrolo, no, meteorologist. I'm not a meteorologist, I don't know how weather works, okay? But this is gonna be an oasis, it's uh, gonna be lush, it's gonna be cool, um, and it's kind of like, it felt, I, I, I'm feeling it built the, when I was building it, I felt like I was back on Ponderosa, you know, the Jungle Core Island, and I was building there. And, you know, it felt nice. It felt like a, th a little throwback Thursday, even though I was building this on <laughs> Monday. I think this definitely area, you know, I've been reading things online on, you know, AC Twitter or whatever, that like, you know, don't worry about a theme. Just do whatever you want to do. Don't worry about it if it relates to your theme. And I'm all, I've always looked at that and been like, yeah, cool, but like, not for me. But you know, I do feel like this area does break from the desert theme in a way. Well, it kind of doesn't. I feel like I did some good things to tie it back to the desert, like putting the Katamatsu, which you see behind the palm tree backwards, because that kind of looks like spiky, looks maybe like there's a cactus growing or something. And then I did put these throwback mid chairs as cactus, but like, you know, having the hammock be super bright and, uh, although I do customize that, but like having this like super bright, you know, surfboard and all this other stuff, you know, and like putting bright flowers. I put pink flowers on the beach, even though I never use pink on this island. So, you know, it was just like a nice way to kind of do what I wanted to do on this island, but still keep it in theme just by putting a few items and customizing a few things and using some patterns I used elsewhere. Now I'm going to be using this incredible blanket pattern. This is from, you know, ACNH Mia Land um, on Instagram. She is doing an incredible Canyon Island. I have talked about her on this channel before. If you are not following her, you need to get over there and follow her because she does great work. But she also made these incredible um, blanket patterns for a Canyon. And I just love them so much. I think they're so pretty and I think they're so cool. I use them here and I also use it over on the, um, I custom, I'm gonna ch customize the hammock a little bit later to have that pattern. So get excited, get pumped, get wild, okay? Also, I love using the wild log benches um, in like the uh, white wood, light wood, whatever. Customization, I feel like they look like driftwood, you know, just like a driftwood log, just like, drifted up onto the beach. I love driftwood. I want to go to the beach. Honestly, that's the thing. It's been really hot in New York this last week. And like, let me tell y'all, I need the beach. I don't even like the beach that much. Too much sand for my taste. But you know, I want to go. Anyways, heat waves, man. Heat, sun. Uh, so even though this voiceover is truly turning into like an EJ therapy session, talking about beaches or whatever, but like, I feel like this might be helpful for you guys to hear. So I've been thinking about like, why are beaches so difficult for me? And I think part of the reason is that beaches are like big and there's a lot of them. And I always think of the beaches as like just one or two areas. It's not like there's at least room for like eight or nine areas on these beaches. And I always try to like rush through it at the very end of doing my islands. And it just, it, it makes it more stressful. So. If I have one tip to you, it is to actually consider 
the fact that there are nine different areas basically on a beach, up to nine. I, I said nine, like that's just like in the number. You know, there's a lot of areas on the beach is what I'm saying. So I like these rocks could be their own area. This one little grassy area is like its own area. So just like, you know, think about it the full way, appreciate and realize that, reckon with that fact earlier, and then you will have less uh, difficult time when you're actually doing your beaches. There you go. And now we're just, of course, having to fill in this uh, thin little one tile wide plate. I hate this part of designing an Animal Crossing where you have to do the, like just fill in these one tile wide places. Also this, um, <laughs> this like faucet or whatever on this water pump on the cliff is indeed a reference to <clears throat> Kato. I, like, I feel like I've, uh, every single video, three, this is three in a row now that I've just like referenced console Kato. I swear, I'm not that possessed. I swear. Anyways, when in doubt, put down a custom pattern and then stand there. And weeds, always weeds. And fencing, random fencing. Listen, hey, listen. Hey guys, I'm EJ, you're you, and here is another tip for your Animal Crossing Island. Put down fencing. All right, see you guys in the next one, bye. All right, third beach. This is gonna be the last beach for today. This is just part one of the beaches. I think I told you this in the intro, but if I didn't, now you know, this is part one. Um, so this beach is going to be right from our dock. It goes right up to the Nook store. So I was like, oh, this is like where they get all the shipments and everything. So this is like a shipping dock center village area. So um, we're filling up our dock with just a couple items. Of course, the jail bars are there for the verticality. We love it. Um, and then I'm going to put down this fun little um, wood pattern that I've actually never used on this island, even though I've tried to use it, I think like three or four times. I've thought to use it like four or five times, but I just have never actually ended up using it until now. And it, I think it, it looks good. It's like a nice weathered um, wood pattern. And so I feel like it really works for, especially like a beach deck wood area. So I'm just trying to make sure, I'm just trying to offset these. I, I wanted to try and make sure that like, you know, I wasn't having a bunch of them end at the same, like a bunch of these things end at the same time. I also didn't want to have just like really long, wide um, wood planks. So I made it like a few different sections across because I feel like that looks a little bit more natural um, because you're not going to have like a, you know, 17 foot uh, piece of wood that you turn into a boardwalk, okay, you know? Um, or you can also just use vertical planks. Um, but I had horizontal, so this is what we ended up doing. And I think it looks pretty good. It kind of reminds me of the um, original Mario game with Donkey Kong and what, you know, you know what I'm talking about. The doo -doo 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 -ba 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 -ba. Yeah, Anyways, more jail bars. We love it. Just like to add some division, add some uh, shaping. Uh, so we can't terraform, but I can put really tall things. Um, and then it, I just put a bunch of random stuff in along with some boxes. It wasn't random, but like the Capricorn ornament, you know, it's like, oh, look at this treasure that they're bringing in from the docks. And look, there's a box in front of it because yeah, shipping. Um, and of course, a retro gas pump. Um, I also like really want, can they make a, um, what are those called on docks that you tie, you hitch up boats to? Like, and they have, it's like the big little knob and then you have like a big rope around that. Can they have that? I want that. Um, I also put a utility pole here, decided against it. Gonna put it over here, looks way better. Boom, Ew. Um, But yeah, I wanted that item a lot. And so I, I, but I didn't have it. Anyways, now you can see where I keep all my flowers. Um, I did move a bunch of them just for this build. So feel special. I wanted this area to feel very industrial. I wanted it to feel very um, like functional. Um, and so that's why, you know, I, I mean, I always put in like utility poles and all the utility or whatever. I love the scene infrastructure, you know, so that's why I put the trash can on the beach. Trash can on the beach, trash can on the beach. Oh, and then someone re recommended doing like the Archaeopetrix, like the single, um, small fossils as just like on their own. And I thought that was cool. Um, I just can't look past them being a fossil, but this is a perfect area for it. Like, you know, cause I'm like, oh yes, they're bringing in the specimens. We're getting a shipment of fossils. I don't know what that voice was. <laughs> And then of course, having to decorate a little bit of the foreground, putting down this oil barrel, uh, the log stakes and this little red thing. 
Cosmo, pansy, pansy, pansy. I think it's pansy. I don't know my flowers. You know this, we know this, it's been known. Okay, this next thing I'm very proud of, cardboard table. Look, it looks kind of flat. I've always thought it was kind of weird, but if you put other cardboard boxes on top of it, you can make it look like it's just a pile of cardboard boxes. Um, also trophy case, boom, hey, okay, but like now, are we gonna go, okay, we're back to the best. Yeah, so then I like offset it a little bit and then I put an Outbook, Outbook, Outback hat because I thought, you know, like the West, I wanted to make it feel a little Wild Westy. Um, also, I had the idea, I think that if I were to remake this island in terms of just like making a new island, I would probably would have named it like New Vegas or Old Vegas, which I think is what I'm gonna like unofficially name it. So it's Quadratini Old Vegas. Ooh, isn't that cool? Kind of sounds like Fallout, which honestly, like I feel like I get so many of my design ideas from like fall the Fallout games. Um, please don't sue me, whatever game company makes those. Bethesda? I don't know. I don't know. Don't ask me to know things. I only play real games like Animal Crossing, okay? And of course, a cactus cuts the west. Okay, walk through time. So this is our first beach. It was abandoned, but it's like not abandoned. It's like a trash beach. And I put like the wine bottles because like the bandits are there and like, you know, whoa, they're just littering. Also, I love that this random message bottle is just like still here. And I think if I don't pick it up, it'll just stay there forever. And I'm okay with that because I like how it looks there. Anyways, moving quite along, up here we have just like some driftwood. We got the wave breakers and we have, of course, our favorite little cannon. We love her. Um, the random leaf fire, they should really put that out, but it's okay, we're by the ocean. So like the, the fires can't happen near the ocean, right? Don't listen to me. I'm not Smokey Bear, okay? And now here we have the oasis. First, we have this cute little picnic area for you to sit in the shade and eat your snacks. Um, and then as we go up here, you get a squeeze by a cute little cactus. Um, and at, then we get up to the like hammock seating area. Honestly, I think this looks very um, idyllic. I would lie here. And I feel like this is one of the areas that really, I think, emphasizes the heat of the desert. I don't know. For some reason, like looking here, I'm like, yes, this must be hot. But I could also just be influenced by the way that like, it feels outside right now. But yeah, lie down in the shade, relax, chillax, acting all cool, playing some b-ball down by the school, and cool. And of course, our last area, our little shipment receiving slash out going, what is that? S sending, delivering, whatever. Dock, dock area. Here it is. I really like this one. Um, obviously I like it, you know, listen, it's all brown. <laughs> you know I love, you know I love when my areas are just rusty and dusty. Um, so here we are. I really like these beaches. I think they're fun how they turned out. I was really racking my brain over what we would even do for a Wild West beach, but I think we figured it out and I think they turned out well. All right, that was this week's video, y'all. Thank you so much to, for watching until the end. And thank you as always to my members for making this all possible. Thank you also, Disney Emoji Blitz. Make sure you download that little app down in the description with uh, my link. The question for today, there's two of these. There's two of these today. If you watched until the end of this video, let me know by answering down below. One, what do you think I should do next on these beaches? I'm very clearly asking for inspiration because I'm And second, I want you to let me know what is your favorite emoji in Disney Emoji Blitz? Because I shared mine with you at the beginning and I feel like this should be like a tit for tat kind of relationship, okay? Can't just be given everything without receiving, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, so I will see you guys in this next video. If until then, uh, stay safe, uh, stay cool, hydrate. Okay, bye.